Hey, hello everyone. Welcome back to another live Fresh Paint with Kelly Weiler. Welcome to Girl Upcycled Studio. Um, if you're brand new here and you're not sure about what Girl Upcycled, Upcycled Studio is, it is a art studio and it is also a studio where you can purchase things to DIY your own projects. So you can find all kinds of um, art in here and local art as well. We are locally um, located in Ohio, just about an hour east of Columbus, a little town called Zanesville. Okay, so welcome. Um, if you are brand new, please introduce yourself so I can kind of get to know your name and um, know your face as you come popping in. I'm going to go ahead and take my glasses off so it doesn't cause a glare. Um, so Today's live is going to be pretty fun, I think. It's going to be a continuation of yesterday. So yesterday we created an ombre finish using DIY paint. It is clay-based paint. We use the colors Hey Sailor, which is a navy blue. And we also use a color called Old 57, which is my favorite color. I love this like real bright turquoise. So. Um, and we applied this and let it dry. I did go in before I left yesterday, just so y'all know, I did go in and I applied a hard coat over top of it, okay? Um, this is called Big Top. Again, it is still a product from the DIY company. It's, they use all natural products there, which is why I like it so, what, so much. Um, just I do have allergies and things like that, so... I know when I use these products, I don't have to worry about anything. So, um, so it's fully dry and um, we're gonna apply a transfer today from the Iron Orchid Design Company, okay? And I will show you which one I'm gonna do after I say hello. If you are um, not into live videos, you guys, those of you over here on YouTube, um, just please know that you can fast forward and get to the meat of the projects and you can still learn from it. You can still ask questions about it as well in the comments below if you're catching this days later. So make sure that, um, you know, if there's any way I can help you later on, I'm always happy to. Okay, so I do like to say hello to everybody real quick. Hello, Ann Lee is coming in from Mississippi and Elisa is here, one of my Creator Club members. Hello, Jolie Lincoln in the house, and Christine is in the house. Lefkowitz, I hope I said that right. Christine, another Creators Club member. Hello, Karen Crawford. Hail. I recognize your name, Karen. I think I've sent paint to you because I, I remember your name. I remember writing your name down. When you guys order from me, I'm literally packing everything myself. So <laughs> sometimes I put little notes in, um, sometimes not. It just depends on how busy I am. So I do recognize your names though. So I do appreciate your business, Karen. Thank you so much for that. And Tanya Cribs. Hello, Tanya. Um, hello, Frazier Barrick, who is out in Utah. How's Utah going? Susan Russell is here from Maryland. And Becky Flower is here. Um, awesome, watched you do my desk live. Yay, Becky, I'm so glad. I am so glad, I hope, I hope you like it. <laughs> if not, don't say it on here. No, I'm just teasing. Yes, I, I knew that was you, Karen. Okay, thank you. I'm trying to like clean up my act, you guys, when I go live, here's the thing. My studio looks big on camera, but it's really kind of not because I have a retail section and then I have a work section. And so this wall right here, if you see all my photos, um, all my photo ops for my finished pieces, this is the wall that I use. And this is literally the only wall uh, that I have. And it's just a small, I mean, without windows. I have tons of windows. So this is literally the only little space that I have and I've got a door on wheels that I moved so that it hides the light from behind. Yay, Becky says good. Absolutely loved it. Awesome. All right, so let's get started here and we can chit chat while I work. 
hopefully I've got this set up nicely for y'all. Um, let me know if it works out better this way. Um, so this is a transfer that I'm going to use. This is the Frond Botanical. I did drop the link um, before I started. I don't know if it generated or not, but I will put it in the description here on YouTube when I'm done. Um, this is probably, again, one of my favorite um, transfers. You guys know that I love the Frond stamps as well. Um, I may use stamps along with this. Haven't, have not decided yet. Um, hello, Joan from Kenosha. Where's Kenosha? Where is Kenosha? I should know that, right? All right, so it comes in one of these little guys. If you order from me, I send it right out in these tubes, unless you order, like if you order multiples, then it'll be in a tall box. But if you just order one, I just send it just like this. It's nice and sealed and it's very protected. And the cost of it, depending on where you're at, can be about, um, you know, six or seven bucks, give or take, is about the shipping cost on this, okay? So I'm gonna start by kind of cutting out some areas. And you can see there's a really nice grid that is on, I'll show you a close up here in a minute. But it kind of allows you to line everything up just so so. Okay, so this, this particular transfer is made to cut up. So um, let's say you have small, let's say you have um, some vases, um, you could put this on a lamp base. You could um, put this on terracotta pot. These are made to use on smaller um, projects as well as the larger ones. It just depends on how you want to use it, okay? Oh, Joan, that's in Wisconsin. Awesome. So I'm going to kind of just strategically pick some things out that I think maybe I want to use, and we'll go from there. But the little grid, so when, the, when IOD, which is short for Iron Orchid Design, when they first started, I met them actually over on Periscope. This has been years ago when they first started. And I was like, what is this amazingness? Who are these ladies? <laughs> and so I got to know them way back then when they first started. And they had sent me some products and so um, I got to work with their stuff from the very, very beginning. And I am here to tell you that they have completely finessed their product like nobody's business. Um, it's just beautiful. It's beautiful in color. Not only is it beautiful in color, but they have tweaked it to where, you know, it's user friendly. So I'm thinking of the grid when I say that, because that grid just makes it really super easy just to line everything up, okay? Good afternoon, hey Jade. Here's another one, I know I sent you some paint as well. So I'll give you a little close up, okay? So have y'all used this before or yes, no? Yes, no, maybe so. So I'm kind of probably going to use the <clears throat> bigger ones to start with. Now, before I start rubbing the transfer on here, um, I want to show you what I did in case you missed yesterday's. This is an ice bucket, okay? And actually one of my customers was in here. I'm trying to remember, darn it. I'll remember in a minute. So if you're watching, I'm sorry. Give me a shout out if it was you. But she was like, oh, I think it was Teresa, which she she might be popping on here. But she was like, you have to put like a bucket or something under it because it has this middle component. 
So it had to be something hollow and this little bucket was perfect, okay? So that is going to allow me to rub and I won't have to worry about puncturing into my lampshade. So um, I think that's a great tip for somebody out there. So Marva says she hasn't used that one, but I have others and I love them. Yeah, they are so nice. Christine says, I love all the IOD products. I know, I do. It's kind of a sickness, I will tell you, once you <laughs> once you start using them. Yeah, Jade, isn't that, isn't that good? Once you start using them, it's kind of like, yeah, it is a sickness. So first of all, think about what you want your main, I guess your main one to be, because they're all a little bit different. Um, I do have one with flowers on it, and maybe that should be my main one. And you want to look at the seam, my seam's right here, so you want to make sure that you do your main one on the front. Hi, Sandy, how are you? <laughs> yes, addiction for reels, for reels. Okay, so I, I might just cut this big one out right here. I know it's not all going to fit on here. By the way, listen, whenever I have little leftovers, I keep them. Like if I, even the little leaves, I keep all of that. So, and there's different reasons why. Um, sometimes you will have um, just a little opening space or awkward space that you might need one of the leaves and you can just pop it in, like if you're doing artwork or if you're doing furniture or whatever the case may be, okay? Um, so I save all of that. And for me, having a studio that's local where sometimes people come in, um, I know my hours are a little different, but um, I usually get people coming in more like on Fridays and Saturdays, but, so if I have a random little leaf or a little stem or something and somebody is asking me about it, um, then I have these little spare pieces that I can just say, here, try it. And I can just show them. They can just like dig in and, and then they're usually like, oh my gosh, I could totally do that. I'm like, yes, anybody can do that. <laughs> so for those of you that have um, little studios or little stores, um, keep a little basket and you may want to go ahead and put a little bit of tape around it so that you want to keep your backing on. Okay. You want to keep your backing on. So I would put some tape on one end and then the other, and that way it won't come apart when you are kind of, um, you know, just holding on to those, um, random pieces. Okay. What you don't want to do is get them separated and have them stick together because you will definitely ruin them, um, probably. Um, Delisa, hello. Good to see you. Thank you. I dressed up for you today, girl. Yeah. So I think this might be my main one because there's not a lot of florals on here, but this does have a floral. And it is a creamy ivory color, and it will be a nice kind of a... Um, you know, just a different color to offset, right? Let's see, so I may, I may figure out how I want to do this. So I may have to, I may cut that section off and pop it in there. I think I'm going to do that. So I'm going to cut out the white so that I can strategically place it where I want it. So you need to be careful that you're not cutting out anything that you want to keep, okay? And I'll show you here in a second. So there's that one. That way I can place this one wherever I want to. Um, hello, Sheila. My son told me yesterday after I showed him your new haircut to tell you you're a cute chick. No offense to... Dude, thank you. A girl my age can always take a compliment. I can always use one, let me just tell you. <laughs> so if I have a young man saying that, 
I, I'm just going to say thank you and tell him that you're my favorite person today. <laughs> Are you guys, um, Sheila, those of you in my Creators Club, tonight is Intuitive Art Night. So are you and your son going to be available for that? I hope so. Tonight at 6. Okay, so you want to just kind of like eyeball how you want to do it. Stop, you guys. I don't. I now I know. Now I know you're lying. I don't look like a teenager, but thank you. That's that's really nice. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this little section out as well, so that I can reuse it. So you want to? Did I just drop something? What did I do? Hold on. Oh, okay. It wasn't anything important. Yay, you're going to be there. Awesome. Intuitive art session is my favorite session of the month. For those of you um, that don't know what I'm talking about, I have a group, Creators Club, and I am letting people sneak in the door and... Um, I normally don't open the doors until fall, but you guys, here's the thing. Our country's in a huge mess right now. It is a hot mess right now. And I am thinking about, and I haven't talked to my BA yet. So if she's watching, she's probably like, girl, what are you doing? I'm thinking about opening it up like advertising it um, earlier, like maybe even next month, because here's the thing, I it's a hot mess, it's, it's terrible. What I'm seeing is, is terrible, and if, you know, art, I feel like it's therapy. I know I've talked to a lot of you about that, and if I can maybe help somebody by um, bringing them in there and, um, letting them connect with people. It is a safe place no matter who you are, what religion you are, what color you are, nationality, anything. It's a safe place to be, and art is therapy. And it is a way to connect with positive. I have had no problems with anybody in there as far as, um, I mean, it's just, it's always a positive place. It has always, because we, we choose for that to be a positive place. Okay. All right. So this is how I'm going to start. I'm going to tape this on here. Um, so yeah, Christine says it's therapy for me being in this club. I love it. And I love having you there. It is very heartbreaking. And I, I may tell you guys a little story here in a little bit. As soon as I get this on the road. You guys want to hear a little story? It's a true story. And it breaks my heart. Um, let me get this on here and then I'll and then I'll start. I'm not the best at storytelling, but I will try. Um, but it is easy for me when it's when it's truth and when it's my own life. So because because it's not really a story, then it's real life, you know. But I'm not, I'm not good making up stories, I guess. Sheila says, I love it, and I'm so glad I joined, and I'm so glad you're there, Sheila. I've really enjoyed you and getting to know really all of the ladies, but yeah, because you're one of the newer ones, Sheila. You're, you're a little bit newer. So I'm just taping this on here. Isn't this going to be cute? Oh, I forgot that bucket was under there. Isn't that going to be cute? So let me get this. I think I'm just going to, I think that's good. You can kind of press it down a little bit too. It has a little bit of tackiness to it. I'm going to go ahead and cut the stem right off. I might save it. I don't know. I might need a stem. And then we're going to start rubbing this down. Okay. Um, and then just one more thing, in case you don't know about these products, it does come with this little handy dandy tool. Um, it's just plastic. I do keep these, um, and I use it for the clay as well. Um, hold on, my letters are 
crooked. There's a little bit of lettering up at the top of here, and I want to make sure that's straight. Okay, there we go. The ladies in here are so wonderful and support. They are. Why well, ask? Let's see. Creators Club, bring it on, sisters. That's right. Yes. Julie from my sassy lamb. I got a lot of my girls in here. They're, I call them my girls. They're not really mine, but I like to claim them as my own. Okay. So I'm going to try this. This is this little project. I saw Debbie Beard doing this and I was like, I have not tried this on the lampshade yet. Um, I was wondering if it would work if you hit it with heat and I hit it with a hot hair dryer and it did not seem to affect it. I am wondering if it will work better if I was to do like a, an iron over it. Haven't tried that yet, but I will let you know if it does work because I will, I do plan on trying that at some point. Okay, so let me tell you this little, kind of a little story that happened. So um, my little girl, she's, she's like, um, She's going to be 18 soon, but um, I think, I can't remember, whoops, it just popped up. I can't remember what um, project she was on. She was on a little project when she was in elementary school. I am pretty sure it was the diary of Anne Frank. She was obsessed with that for the longest time. And, she, you know, just, she just loves that story. And it's an amazing story. It's heartbreaking, but it's just such a good, I mean, I was just so happy that she loved that story and was reading it. And she was like, so we got to talking about, um, you know, re different people hating people because of, because they look different and because different religious beliefs and, you know, the whole just, we, it just really opened up a, the dialogue for racism and which is what we're seeing right now, right? It's everywhere um, that we're seeing um, and it's heartbreaking. And um, it just gave me a really good conversation with her because my best friend, um, I was talking about her and she happens to be black and, you know, I got to, I got to talk to my daughter about that. And I told her, you know, we're so, I see, I see it differently than what is going on on TV right now. My experience is that I feel so blessed that I'm living in the day and age that I'm living right now because I'm, I'm even allowed to have my best friend as my best friend openly and we can enjoy each other. And that's my take on it as a person with light skin. However, that doesn't make, you know, all the stuff that's going on. That doesn't mean that that's not happening because it truly is. But, um, I was telling my daughter, you know, if I was friends with her name's Crystal, if I was friends with Crystal years and years ago that she and I would, we would not be allowed to be friends. We would have to be secretive about it. And so that movie that came out, The Help, I thought just like nailed it, right? Did you all see that movie where, where they had to be kind of like, they had to be, very secretive about their friendship. So it really, um, but her little face, you guys, and you know, like I said, she was in elementary school. She was appalled. She was appalled and she could not believe that that was a thing. And now we're seeing that it still is a thing. It still is a thing. I, I can't believe that it's still as bad as it is. You guys, I mean, I know, and I'm, I'm the first to admit I'm a little naive because I'm this country girl and, and, but it has really being around my best friend has, I mean, I've seen it. I've seen it happen. Things happen to her. Um, we'll be uh, like, we used to work together for 
a company who would send us out to buy products and buy decor. And if she would have the credit card um, for this company, they would want to see her ID. And then if I had it and I was the one that had the credit card and was doing the purchasing, it wasn't even, there was not an, it was a non-issue. So I was kind of like, so it, it's just interesting um, to see that how real that that, that is um, out there right now. So I don't know. I, I'm hoping that, that I, I'm teaching my daughter, um, you know, the right way and that, you know, I think that she's probably seeing it now on TV. I know she doesn't watch it a lot, <laughs> you know, because teenagers, they just, they want to hear their music. They don't want to see all this stuff, but she is seeing it. She's seeing what's going on. And I don't know. I think that later on, it'll really, really hit her as she gets older and really understands what, what she was witness to you know, and then hopefully she'll have that conversation with her, her children. Um, but I guess it just surprises me that it's still, um, it's sad that it's, that we're still going through this. It's like, it makes me feel like, have we really come that far? Um, I, I just don't know you guys. I just don't know. I mean, it's, it's makes me sad and, you know, and then the whole situation, um, I mean, how do you feel about it? Let's, I want to hear from you guys. Um, if you're catching this on a replay too, I just want to kind of, um, let's see, what is the date today is June the 2nd, 2020. And we're in the middle of a pandemic, first of all, and we're in the middle of, um, Black Lives Matter protesting that is turning into riots in certain areas. And, and I have to say, I really feel my heart breaks for um, all of the protesters that are really there with good intentions and like just doing all that they can. And I feel bad the rioting is going on and it just seems like it's, it is dismissing, it's dismissing the issue. I mean, it's, I don't know. I don't know what, I mean, there's just so many good people out there for this good, good, worthy cause. And I will say, um, locally here, um, our little town did wonderful. Um, Cambridge, our neighboring little town did wonderful with the protesting and, um, I guess it's just, it makes me happy to be in little, little town America right now um, that, you know, even though I am maybe more naive to it, I feel like I'm, I'm much, my eyes are wide open way more now that, you know, just, and it wasn't even, I mean, with my best friend, it was kind of like, I don't know, it we hung out and it was just kind of things that I caught on to after being around her. Like, did I just see, did that just happen? And, you know, um, going into Walmart, the last time we were in Walmart together, um, we went to walk out and they wanted to search our bags. And that happened in our town here. And I was like, <sighs> you know, that was kind of, it just makes me think, you know, they, they have a lot going on that, that we don't experience, you know? Um, you know, I know she's been followed around in stores before because they just automatically think she's stealing and she's like, she's almost like she is, she's almost honest to a fault. She's that kind of person. So it's, yeah, it's kind of sad. Should have taped this down better, guys. I'm learning that. Right now. It's not wanting to stick really well with the tape. So I'm going to try some packing tape. Let's see if this works better. Um, thank you. Tanya says it is so sad. 
I have a lot of thoughts and I agree with everything you're saying. I would love to hear your thoughts, Tanya, because you are in a mixed marriage. So you see probably a ton. And I will tell you guys, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to say, um, you, you have the choice to change. If you have, if you are one of those people that, you know, I was raised, um, around grandparents. I remember my grandfather was highly racist. I, I was little and I love him. I love him. I loved him to, he would do anything for us. And he was so kind and so good. But I, I saw him grab guns and, and go out and chase black people away and use language and all the things. I, that's what I witnessed as a little girl. And luckily, for some reason, that did not, that, ener that energy did not stick with me. And thank God it didn't because, you guys, if I would have let that energy stay with me all those years, I would have missed out on my, my best friend that I've ever had in the world. I would, I would have missed out on that, on my best friend. She, this girl is as close to me as my sister. I mean, that's how close we are. I can call her at any time, and we pick up as if, We've never even left each other, you know, and we laugh at the same things. I think she can read my mind and I can read hers because we can give each other a look and we just bust out laughing. You guys, if I would have let that energy, that negative energy from my grandfather, if I would have carried that with me, I would have missed out. And I just want to say to a lot of you, um, and it's not your fault. It, it, it isn't your fault. I mean, we're born into the families that we're in when you're a child. But it is your fault if you grow into an adult um, and, and you think that's okay. And you think that's right to demean people. It's not right, guys. I mean, and come on. And we, you know it down inside, right? Um, yeah, it... I don't know. I just, my life wouldn't be as rich. And it makes me sad for those people that, that are still like that. You guys are missing out on, like, think of, think of these people that, that you can bless and that will bless you. And you're missing out on that. I mean, it is a choice. You don't have to, you don't have to keep those feelings throughout the generations. You know, you don't have to, it's a choice, but it, it does. It breaks my heart. Um, I hope this is sticking. I'm just sitting here talking, not even, um, not even like, <laughs> I'm just, I got on a rage, didn't I? Not rage, but just heartfelt. It's heartfelt because it's, it's now personal to me because you know, I, it makes me sad um, knowing what the black community, they don't get really to just walk around like we do. Or if they get picked up or pulled over, I'm sure they're nervous about it. And they're, it, you know. Um, let's see. I'm married to a black man in every neighborhood we have lived in as a person who is so friendly and nice to all of the other neighbors, but ignores us and gives us mean looks. Actually, oh, see, I'm going to read that. That's Tanya. Tanya, I, I just adore you. So Tanya Redmond is the artist that I had on my show here um, last week that did the alcohol point. She has a, she's, in a mixed marriage. He was married to a black man and he's so talented too. He's a musician. Um, okay. It, they ignore us and they give us mean looks. Actually, my neighborhood now is the first that we have not had these negative reactions. Oh, I just love you, Kelly. I love you too, Tanya. I love you too. Um, but 
it just, it's, it's, I don't know. It makes me want to cry and I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry on camera, but it makes me want to cry. If, you know, and I'm going to cry. I don't want to cry. But it does. It makes me sad to think, like, if if I didn't have my best friend, I mean, I just can't imagine my life without her, you know? I just can't. I can't imagine it. Um, I'm going to be embarrassed if she sees this. <laughs> She's going to be like, you big goofball. I'm like, I know, right? <laughs> but it's true. I'm going to go grab a tissue. Um, anyway, it just, I guess, like I said, I'm a little naive to, I mean, I just didn't, you know, our little community is, it's just such a sweet little community and I know it happens and I know sometimes I hear words and, and things, but I, for the most part, I always think <sighs> we're better than that, you know, and it, apparently we're not. You know, Christine says, I used to work for a civil rights organization. That was my favorite job. Yeah. Um, Sheila says, I chose not to carry it on. That's great. You know, we can't, you know, we can't help how, how the families were born into. Um, and that is the interesting thing, too, that I will have to say. And my, this is just my best friend she's just so um i wish you could all get to know her i really do because she like <laughs> she's so funny i can i can be i can be myself around her and she loves me for all my weirdness and i love her for her weirdness and we're you know she's so accepting of me even when i'm being naive about stuff or, or even when I make like really stupid mistakes. So, so here's something to make you laugh. Um, shortly after we started running around together, I don't know, we, we just were like instantly, boom, we were like magnetized. We was like, there was still something about her. And I don't even know what it was, but I kind of feel like just we're spiritually connected somehow. I don't know if that makes sense, but, <laughs> but that's kind of the thing with her. Um, and she was the same way with me and we just connected and have been for years. We worked together for years. We've been friends for years, but shortly after we started hanging out, I don't know, it was probably, I don't know if it was like a couple years into it. Um, I, the, okay, this is, you guys are going to think I'm a real, real idiot. Um, but she loves me and knows my heart and she just thought it was the funniest thing. I accidentally called her up. It was really nice. It was like a day like today and it was cool, but it was sunny. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to call Crystal and see if she wants to come over. And I asked her to come over and lay out. <laughs> if she wanted to lay out and get a tan. You guys, she laughed her butt off and she knows my heart. She knows my heart. See, and that, that too is why she knew that like that's really what I would do with any girlfriend and that's so that's what I called and asked her and I know and I just felt so stupid and I laughed and I'm like thank you for just loving me and not <laughs> uh how stupid was that I mean I, I wasn't even thinking about it I was like oh, I wonder if she wants to come over and lay out oh. Well, that's, I just didn't know. I d it just didn't even, and she was like, that's why I love you, because you just always, you always see me. You always see me, she said. You always see me for me, and it's true, and it was like that from the very first moment I saw her. I just knew her. It's like a, familiar. It's almost like when I saw her, I was kind of like, hi, like, where have you been kind of thing, and I don't know, and I, it's weird. I know it's weird, but that's how I was with her. I was just kind of like, there you are. Kind of like, hi, there you are. It's so weird. It's the most familiar. Um, I, I was, I'm like that with my husband, too. There's different people in my life that, that I've been like that with, and she's definitely one of them. Strange. So I need to get working. I'm sitting here talking. Um, God doesn't want people to hate. Right. 
Yeah, but that's beautiful, right? That's exactly how she took it too. And I just felt like a complete moron. <laughs> she teases me about it to this day. But she's, yeah, she's really special. I'm, I'm really lucky to have her. And, uh, and I think she feels the same about me. It's just a kinship, you know, we just are, I couldn't imagine not having her. I couldn't imagine having to hide our friendship like they used to do years ago. So for me, it's kind of like, I'm glad that we have the, the freedom to be friends, you know? I'm glad that we at least have that. And I know we have a long ways to go, but I am at least thankful for that. And her husband's white and, you know, and it's nice that they can have their marriage and, um, you know, and have a good life and have a farm together. And you just, it's nice. It's just, so hopefully we are getting better but we could be so much further, right? It does take a little rubbing going on here, guys. I knew you when I met you in a kindred way. That's right. Exactly. And that, I was drawn to you too, Jolie. Do you remember that when we met? Like, I felt like I could hug you immediately. Which is weird because, you know, we're just strangers. We were strangers being strange. <laughs> but yeah, there are people like that. You just meet. I hope this is turning out. I haven't even checked it. I normally, let me check it. I normally, normally lift it. Oh, it is. It's working, guys. I think that's the first time I've ever cried online, you guys. Um... The world is filled with a lot of prejudice. Color of your skin, religion, gay, straight, skinny, overweight, physically challenging. It does. I know. I feel like if it wasn't, I just feel like people just like to, I don't understand it. I'm just I'm such a nonviolent person. I don't understand it. I was saying that just the other day. Martin Luther King would be heartbroken because what, right? What a man of integrity and peace. Yeah. She says, I do too. That was live love. It was love at first sight. I think it's working. All right. I think it's working guys. How are we doing on time? I've been, I'm sorry I've been talking so much this time. But it's an important thing going on, you guys. We can't get away from it. Um, I wonder what people will say years from now when they're watching these videos. I wonder if they're going to say, oh my gosh, how horrible, you know, that people acted that way with each other. You know, hopefully it... Hopefully it does go away. I mean, the the virus is enough. Why? I just don't understand. We don't need all this other stuff going on. It's, you know, they shouldn't be, have to live in fear. a little better when you're rubbing this and you kind of stick your tongue out too. <laughs> I kind of want to go oh, stick my tongue out and rub this thing down. All right. 
244. She says I need my hair did too. Oh man, a good haircut. Just just so much for a girl. Thank you, Tanya. Yeah, she's a my sister did my hair. She's a pretty amazing hairstylist. In my opinion, she's the best in town. All right. Need to have a sale sometime and sell some of these items I've been making. Doo -doo -doo. Hey guys, don't forget, um, sometime towards the end of the week, I'm going to do a giveaway. Um, I just want to announce it while well, there's a lot of you on here right now. Um, this is Jennifer Allwood's brand new book called Fear Is Not the Boss of You. It's a great read. I bought an extra one. Um, just so that I could give one to one of my followers. And I do have her permission um, to play some of it on, and on my, I have it on audio too, um, but I'm going to play some of it on audio while I do an intuitive painting um, one day this week, towards the end of the week, and then I'll be giving this book away. So just to, to one of you, just as a thank you, because um, you all have been so supportive during uh, the quarantine and and beyond that just with buying products and showing up and um, doing some of the projects that I'm showing you and, and you guys share your work and it's we've really been able to create a little community and I just wanted to say thank you so look how cute, cute. Really cute. So I need to figure out where I want to do the the little flower part. That's how I play piano. I worked a ten key typed with my tongue out. <laughs> right. Katie says that is a great book. It really is. And, you know, it came at such a good time. Um, you know, I think she was a little, you know, obviously if you have a brand new book coming out and a pandemic hits and you can't do book signings and things, and it probably was, was hard on her, a hard hit, a hard pill to, to swallow. Um, she had to cancel her tour, but... Um, what an amazing book for this time. So I feel like maybe God had a higher purpose in it, right? For sure. Yes, it is gorgeous, right? I need to figure out where I want this little piece to go. I want it to, whoops, I want this piece in here as well. And I may go right over top of some of what I just did. Let me show you how to do that. So you can do that with any of the transfers. Layer it. Just layer right over it. Okay. And I'm just going to start rubbing it and we'll see what it looks like. And we have a little time left, so I'm going to keep going. I know you guys probably, where I lost my little scraper. I know it's right in front of me. Help me, guys. Help me. There it is. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's what happens when I'm trying to... Trying to uh, work without my glasses. Let's see if I can set this up and do it. I don't know if it'll work. You probably hear the traffic out there. It's a beautiful, beautiful day here in Zanesville. And uh, tonight I've got an intuitive class at six o'clock. So we will be teaching, or we will be teaching, we'll be painting together. Um, in my creators club 
so I'm excited. And then I've got a date with my sister after that. Get into some shenanigans, probably. It does help by putting that little bucket in there, guys, for sure. I highly recommend that. Hello from UK, Chris. How are you? Delisa says, I want to do one now. Do you seal with Big Top before? I did. I did seal it before I applied it. But a little secret, when I do furniture, I don't usually do that. And you're supposed to, but I don't usually. I usually seal afterwards. We got, we got pretty deep in our conversation today, didn't we, guys? I don't usually get too deep on here. I try not to. I try to keep this very lighthearted, but you know what? It's, it's a hard, it is a hard time right now to keep it, keep it lighthearted, isn't it? Not wanting to stick right there. Just keep going over it. Until it releases. There it goes. Oops, a little piece came up. If something comes up, you just lay it back down and rub it on it, rub it a little bit more. It's so easy. Oh, that looks better. So let me show you what it looks like layered. So it needed that little pop of color on there, didn't it? I mean, and you could do, I think I'm gonna do it all, all the way around. I mean, you don't have to, if you wanted to save some of your decals and just do the front of it, you could. This is a pretty large decal though. Transfer, um, it's pretty big. You could combine this with the other ones, like the butterflies would be cute on here. You could also combine this with the stamps. So what I might do, I may take some of these leaves from the stamps and just do one color of the brown and do that over top of it, I guess. Let's see if it'll work, how it looks. Or should I do one? Let's see. Maybe a tiny one, because I don't know. Now, I would say you're probably going to want to make sure it has a sealer on it because if you remember yesterday when we painted it it's silk and that paint just spread everywhere so i don't know if it'll do that so i'm going to just trial and error okay just see what happens hopefully it won't hopefully it doesn't mess up let's just let's just try it got my little brayer here I'm just going to do a little tiny sample for you. Okay, wish me luck. I hope this works okay. I'll just do a little one in case it doesn't work. It won't be completely ruined. If it is ruined, I'll just put a different little transfer over top of it. But I think since I sealed it, it would should be okay. Oh, yeah. Totally. So let me give you a close up. 
Can you see that? Still wet, but it did not bleed or anything. So that is just the stamps, the fern stamps. And I use layered chocolate with that, okay? It's kind of my go-to when I stamp. Um, and it's going to highlight. So I think that'll be pretty. I like the look of the mixed, just plain color with the um, colored in transfer. I like that, the look of both of those together. So I will do this all the way around, um, give or take. And we'll kind of... I don't know, and then I'll post. What I'll do is I'll post on um, YouTube on the thumbnail. I'll do a, a posting of it when I get it finished. So any questions, gang? I know we are coming up on, gosh, it's almost been an hour already, hasn't it? We have so much fun. Well, other than the crying. <laughs> There's no crying in crafting? Heck. Any questions? Vintage Sin in the house, which Cindy, right? I believe is your name. Because I said, you should have named it C-I-N. I have to associate things like that or I'll forget people's first names. Um, this transfer is a Frond Botanical. And I will drop the links so you can get these. I have plenty of these in. I also have plenty of the butterflies in. And I have more coming. Like I keep, I usually keep plenty of these in stock. Um, all of the IOD stuff actually in stock. Yep. Awesome, thanks, Delisa. One got, wait, what? Debbie, what are you trying to say? Um, just make sure if you're brand new here on my YouTube channel and you love to learn about art, um, I know I did this guy live one time, um, and you want to learn about art and sometimes crafts and DIY, um, this is a place for you um, to hang out. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, hit the, hit the little notification button, and you'll get notified when I put up new videos. And I do edited videos as well. I've just been doing like a marathon throughout the quarantine just to kind of keep people busy and give them something to look forward to. Oh, what is inside your shade for stability? This is an ice bucket. So you could use any kind of little something round and put inside there and it'll, that way when you push down, it'll give you something solid to press on. But I'm happy with it. I love it. I hope you did too. I hope you guys give it a try. If you do give it a try, make sure you let us all see it, okay? Thanks so much for hanging out, everybody. I will see you guys, let's see, tomorrow is, what's tomorrow, Wednesday? Tomorrow will be 6 p.m. I'll be live, okay? because I'm open tomorrow. So I'll see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Thanks, guys. Bye.